Hello, my name is Cinquanta Cocksmith of www.cinquantacocksmith.com. You can reach me on Instagram at Cinquanta Cocksmith, on Facebook at Cinquanta. Today, I am here to show you an overview of BookBoat. BookBoat is a software to help you find keywords, do research, design covers, and interiors, all for KDP. It's also great for doing planners, um, journals, and coloring books. It's an all-around great tool for you to use in your KDP or low-content, no-content journal business. So when you get to the website here, BookBolt, um, I just want to go over quickly the pricing structure. <clears throat> so you can get it for $9.99 monthly, and it has a three-day free trial that you can go through the entire system, use it, um, use each tool to see if you like it, and then once your trial is over, you will be charged $9.99 monthly, or you can sign up for the yearly subscription, which is $89.99 uh, yearly. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and sign in and show you all the different tools that BookBolt has, all the different options, and what's so unique about it. All right, so the first screen that you will come up to on BookBolt, it has where you can search products for keywords, um, and then the categories go from notebooks to journals to music sheets. Here uh, you have information where you can look up seller names. Um, there's a cloud that you can put information in, save things, stuff like that. <clears throat> also, you have a list for your favorites. And then also you can do just strictly keyword search. So inside of BookBolt, there are numerous tools that you can use once you log in and you go up here to the top. You can use something called KDP Spy, which kind of spies on your competition and look at their rankings and what they're doing differently in their books that will help you to make more money in your business. Then they have the Book Bolt Lister, which you just save your um, pen name or business name, your keywords, uh, your description and all of that, where you can just hit that and use it for your business. They also have the book boat designer. They also have a book boat mass cover converter. So we're going to stay on the first page real quick, just to kind of show you each page as I quickly go through each section. So I'm more of a journal person. So maybe I am going to look up, um, let's see, doctor. look up some doctor journals and it does like this countdown so it gives you time to kind of pull up everything that you may be looking for so the keyword is doctor I didn't put doctor journal I didn't put a type of doctor so it's just gonna search for anything related to doctor journal all right now that my search has come back it basically gives me result data so it pulls up 191 results Lowest price brand, 359 Highest price brand, 29 Average price. And it has the average BSR and which category it's in. So here it has a lot of different keywords here. And then it pulls up some journals that will fall under me just saying doctor. So here it tells me their title, the author name. Let me know that they created this on Create Space. So that could have been some time ago. Um, the price of it estimated monthly sales and now if I click show it'll just show it show it to me in uh, Amazon so it goes on some things are not related to doctor but because of the keywords that's probably what came up okay so I'm gonna show you how to use it and and let's try coloring book under notebook. Okay, here are my research for coloring books. So I see 196. And this is for color books under the category notebook. Lowest price, highest price. And as I go down, it tells me different keywords here. And then it comes up with a few different um, coloring books. Here's a unicorn one. This is more like a handwriting book. 
but they probably used a keyword coloring book. Here are some adorable creature ones, sketchbooks, big lettering, comic book, sketchbook, and then there's a few more coloring books and a few activity books for kids. So a lot of these have create space on there, so that means it's probably been around for a while. But that's what basically comes up. So also, if I go here to the keywords, um, maybe I want to type in sneaker and then hit search. Okay, so what comes up is keywords and search volumes. It has most frequent keywords for the term sneaker. And then it has keywords and fragrance. Phrases and it tells me the competition if it's high or medium, what they are possibly playing for, click, uh, click per, whatever that means, and then the search volume here, and then there's some relevant products which does not look re relevant to sneakers, but these words here do. All right, so I'm gonna go into another part of the product profile which is KDP Spy which I think I also have in my Chrome bar, which it is a Chrome extension. So I'm just going to go over to Amazon real quick because I already have it um, in my Chrome. But you can see what happens is it comes up here and kind of explains to you what KD Spy, KDP Spy is and how it will look. So I'm just going to quickly go over to Amazon and gonna put it to use so we're gonna type in sneaker journal and see what comes up on this home page and then I'm going to See what the KDP spy will bring up for me. So here it is right here. It popped up at the top. And I'm going to hit start. And I'm assuming it analyzes this page. Okay, so some things are starting to come up. And it tells me to estimate your revenue, estimated sales, price, um, rate, ratings, which will be review, and then the BSR. And then also, which is another thing, I put in sneaker journal, and a lot of these things are not related to sneakers. So a lot of people are stuffing keywords that have nothing to do with certain books, and this is how they are slipping through the system. So be mindful when you're looking that majority of that category is actually for what you're looking for. Other than that, it'll just send your research into a big loophole of stuff that doesn't make any sense. So that's how you use KDP Spy. All right, so then we're going to click here and go look at the book bolt lister <clears throat> which is another extension I'm not sure if I um, uploaded this one yet KDP spy okay that's the lister so this would be good for me once I um, were to go into let me see Okay, yeah. All right, so this is how it works. You would add a profile, and then it has the settings. You can import profiles as well. So what would happen is I would add a profile, which would be, um, the hotkey would be how I get to it quick. So it would be my title, my subtitle, first and last name, pen name, description, my keywords, my categories, size, and cover finish. And once I'm done, it will be 
um, I would be finished. I'll have it in. And this could be, if you have like a profile that has like the same things over and over again, you use that. So what happens is when you go to KDP um, to upload your book, you can upload your book and then click on KDP Lister, select the profile, and it will manually upload everything to um, to the KDP screen for you. So that's how you use the book vault lister. And then we have the book bulk designer. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and line it, log into the design panel. <clears throat> okay, so the book bulk designer is here. It has tabs, products, um, templates, has clip arts, text, images, shapes, drawing layers. So, um, has interior where you can design the interior. Um, here you can choose different sizes and they have blank, um, pages. They have recipe books, scuba diver, hexagon, wide rule. Uh, journal sheet, music sheets, fishing logs, dot grid, comic book, graph paper, um, guitar tabs, graph paper, mileage logs, coordinate paper, personal expense tracker, tracker half rule papers, more grid, handwriting, storyboard, notes, blood pressure log, sketchbook, food journal, dream journal, gratitude journal, guest list, Planning, monthly planner, password tracker, prayer journal, running log, di diabetic um, log, workout log, and they consistently upload new ones. So all you would have to do is choose no bleed or bleed. And then you do a size six by nine if that's what you want. Then you put in the page count and then you just simply hit download for your interior and your interior will download. Okay, so then if you were ready to design um, a cover or a page, you would go ahead and select the product. So once you select what product you want, let's see. Okay, so I would choose the cover. So I wanted to create a cover and it will ask me my trim size and then my page count. So now I'll hit submit. Now it's generating a template for my cover so I can design it. And just wait a little while while that generates the cover. All right, so once your cover comes up, you can change the background of it here. You can type in a different color that you need. You can create colors here. Um, here they have templates. Uh, some of these are some I think you have to upload. Uh, I don't have any clip art there, but if I needed to go ahead and put my text in, and you can load, um, keep, continue to load the fonts and upload your own fonts. So they have a whole entire font selection here. So I'm just going to choose um, text mask, let's see. Uh, or maybe not, let's just do the curve text. And let's put in the words. Well, I can't remember where, it, where to put in the words. So let's delete that. Let's see. 
see, I was able to double click that one. Um, so let's just do tutorial since that's what this is. And this can work for, again, like I said, for your coloring book, for your planner, for your journal to create the cover. And then you have images where you can use their resources. So it has Pixababy. So let's see if I wanted to add the swan here. Of course, I can add the swan. This won't be anything pretty. So um, they have Pixababy for the resources. I'm sure you can type in just about anything. They also have shapes. So if I wanted to add a little quote box here, and I could probably change the color. So if I want to change it yellow, and then you can actually draw on here. So let's see. You can draw on there. You can delete anything that you do here over on this panel um, under layers. So I can take that title off, I can take that drawn off, then I can come back and move this up here if I needed to and make it smaller. So those were those layers. And then when I'm finished, I hit just hit download and download my cover and it'll be downloaded in a six by nine, 120 pages, or my eight and a half by 11 with 25 pages, uh, wherever your poison is, for this service, it tells me my download is ready, so now I'm going to download it. All right, so I'm going to X out of that, and then we're going to go to the interior again here. And then I think also, not sure, but it somehow lets me um, create an interior this way as well. All right, so I'm going to go back to the book bolt and go to um, the, the lister. We're going to go bolt mask cover creator. So I'm just going to log in. And it titles it 6x9 color 120 pages for me. So I kind of know what it is, which is awesome. And that was all done in the book bolt designer. And here is the book boat mask cover converter. So um, say I needed the cover sizes to be here and I have the page count color. So I would upload the images and it would convert it to whatever I needed it to do. And I believe that is it for book boat, but this is a pretty good service. Um, we will have a little learning curve of learning how to use it, but they do have resources for you on YouTube and videos to watch. Um, if you look on, if you look on YouTube, you can see other people who've used book boats, how they have used it in a different way. And also I have a 20% off coupon code. If you go to book Bolt, Dot com and you sign up, you can use my discount code CAC for 20% off. Again, I am an affiliate of Book Bolt, so I am promoting and I will get a percentage of each sale. If this is something you are interested, I say it will help you in your journal business it's for the holidays, for mass uploading, for mass creating, and just finding new ways in interiors to help your business. Again, this is great for coloring books, planners, journals, and notebooks. So again, it's bookbolt.io and my coupon code is CAC for 20% off. Again, you can find my website at www.cquantifoxsmith.com.